Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the mainstream movie guy. Yes, I said it, Maze Runner is actually very similar to Star Wars. Now, I'm not saying that the quality is anywhere near it, okay? It's, I'm not saying that, so before you give the dislikes and blow up the comment section, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is Maze Runner actually takes a lot, and I mean a lot of, inspiration from Star Wars. And it really showed me in this movie, The Scorch Trials. Now, if you haven't seen the movie yet and you do want to see it, especially after you're interested in finding those similarities, this will have spoilers. So just be forewarned, this will have spoilers for both movies. Okay, so let's start off the movie, right? And I'm going to go, again, step by step, and I'll kind of uh, show you each one. So, Thomas would be your Luke character. He's a heroine. Minho would be the Han Solo. He's a cool character. He's badass. And we'll see what happens to him. Uh, now, in terms of Leia, there isn't really a Leia because in part one, it was really Teresa. And in part two, it's more the Brenda character. So there's not really a Leia, but I see it as a reverse triangle instead of uh, Luke and, uh, and Han going for one girl. It's Luke going for this girl or that girl. So you're seeing that. Ava is easily the Emperor. When you see her enter into uh, a scene the first time, she even has her royal guards, you know, with the staff. It's just like, she is the emperor. She has a cloak. It's just, she is the emperor. The first time you see her is in a hologram as well. Hmm. Talking to her right-hand man, which is Jansen, which is uh, Jansen Vader. So let's go into this and, and show you why this is so similar, okay? So we start off with our hero that left the... Wicked Empire. I'm going to combine the words to get you how it, these are. So, Wicked is the co is the company here, and Empire is obviously the Empire. So, the Wicked Empire. Uh, so, the hero who left the Wicked Empire base in the first movie in shambles. The maze was destroyed, and the entire facility was destroyed. So was the Death Star. Very similar again. Then Wicked attacks instead of on an ice planet. Well, we see them harvesting people. So, again, they're attacking and they're taking a huge blow to the Rebellion and the Rebellion can't really take it. So we realize that Vader is merely a servant, uh, or Jansen Vader is really a servant of the Emperor Ava. So we see this, and again, we see, this for, we see her for the first time in a hologram. I was like, oh my god. That's when I was like, wait a minute. Then, Jansen Vader's original goal is to convert... Luke Thomas, uh, or Thomas Luke, to the dark side of Wicked. So, you know, are you with us? Are you on our team? No, or, well, you know, then we'll just kill him if he refuses. Jansen Vader tracks him down for most of the movie. So he's tracking uh, Thomas Luke down for most of the movie, right? Then Thomas Luke learns about the Force, or the good side uh, that's challenging the dark side of Wicked. So, again, he learns in the ways. Instead of learning the ways of the Force, so he regains his memory back. And again, to use that power to probably overthrow the dark side in the following movie, because his memories are his power, you know. It's where he's getting all of his source from, as well as meeting up with, you know, a new alliance of the good side. So that's, that's his training. His training is gaining his memories instead of using the Force. Now, here's where it really all goes down, though. Thomas Luke is betrayed by a member of his party. In this case, it's Teresa, not the Lando character, Jorge. Jorge is the Lando character. He's awesome, just like Lando. So, some changes have to be made, obviously. It's not going to be identical, and obviously, you know, there's a lot of parts I'm skipping over that, you know, again, this is inspiration from, but very similar, as you can see thus far. So the Emperor strikes Thomas Luke, and, it, uh, and it's hard, and he captures all of their friends. Captures everyone in Cloud City, captures everyone in the front, and he's like, I can't leave them, I have to go to them. Even though the Lando character is kind of being the Yoda character in this sense, where he's like, you can't go, you're not ready yet. And he's like, you know what, they're my friends, I have to go save them. So Thomas Luke battles uh, Jansen Vader, and then, under the direct command of Ava, uh, the Emperor, the results are this. Jansen Vader is shot, instead of with a lightsaber in the Luke battle, he is shot by a bullet on his right shoulder. So I thought that was really interesting that his right shoulder again got hit. Uh, with a good shot, right? Thomas Luke loses his right arm. Yes, the 
resistance is called right arm, and he loses it in this battle. The right arm is completely wiped out, so Thomas Luke loses his right arm in this battle. I was like, wait, why would, else would they call it right arm? I'm what? Maybe, look, maybe in the book they explain why, but I thought this was really interesting. Like, it's literally his right arm. It's literally his right arm that he loses. So I thought that was really funny. Uh, and yes, the, or, uh, and of course, what's the end result? Minho Han is the coolest character of the group, gets captured by Jansen Vader, and uh, what saves Thomas Luke from being captured as well is Jorge Lando, saves the crew uh, to fight another day. And he comes right in, trashes it, and they're able to get out of this. So instead of going back to the Rebel base, or the safe haven in this case, Thomas Luke is determined to make a plan to get his friend uh, Minho Han out of the grasp of the Wicked Empire in the next movie. So that's what we're going to start off the next movie, and that's obviously what starts off Return of the Jedi. Again, these are just so many similarities that I was like, this is really taking inspiration from Star Wars. Maybe it's because of that that I ended up liking this movie more because I just found so many similarities. Like, Ava is really like the Emperor. Jansen is really like Vader in terms of like, yes, I'm going to track him down, I'm going to find him, and he will join us or he will die. And very quick to turn on him in that sense too, emotion. I mean, all that we need now, I, I do not, I have not read the books, and please don't leave spoilers down uh, below if you have read the books, but it's really just interesting to see all these similarities in this uh, sense of that really the Maze Runner, uh, and again, you can make the similarities to, again, the Death Star blow up in the first one, you can even go as far as Albie was kind of like the Obi-Wan character in the first one, and uh, Newt is kind of like the Chewy, you know, he's the, si he's the uh, perfect side character to um, uh, Minho and, you know, really good in that aspect. Don't get me wrong, that actor, uh, Thomas, is actually probably one of the better actors in that group. Really uh, good actor, but I'm just saying Chewy because he's the buddy, you know, the buddy one. The uh, not, not as much time as Minho, but still really cater towards uh, in terms of having screen time always with him, typically. So I think that's a really interesting thing. What do you guys think about this theory? That yes, Maze Runner, uh, especially Scorch Trials, is very similar to Empire Strikes Back. I mean, the overall arc was identical. Now, was there some differences? Of course there was. I'm not saying, you know, Empire obviously didn't have zombies. You know, there was no Yoda character in this case. So there was a lot of different things in here that was very different. Uh, but I just found it very interesting in all the similarities. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Is Maze Runner like Star Wars? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Mainstream Movie Guy.